If there's one thing I learned in the past five years of building weapon systems, it's that there's no perfect weapon system, especially not for first person shooters. But there's definitely a weapon system that you can do for a specific situation. And there's two different kinds of weapon systems that you can do that usually work for most situations. And those are composition web-based weapon systems and monolithic kind of class weapon systems. Both are okay, depending on how you build them. But one of them usually shines over the other. And I'm going to talk a little bit about the pros and cons of each one of them. And then I'm going to tell you why composition weapon systems are just glorious. All right, so we're going to start immediately with a monolithic based class, mostly because it's the easiest one to understand. So I have a project here, which is based on a free FPS template that we made a while back. You can download it in the description. This has both of the classes that I'm going to be showing you. So both of the things are going to be in this project. You can download it description. That's it. I'm going to stop talking about that one. It's free. Um, it basically has a weapon that shoots. That's it. Both of them are going to be the same. So we're going to ignore which one it is that is being shown in the demo because both of them work the same. So you can just shoot, reload, blah, 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 you know, whatever. The thing is, if we go to the content browser and I go to single class, which is the monolithic one, there's a BP weapon and a BP assault rifle inside of BP weapon, which is the base one. This is what I'm calling a monolithic class. I know it doesn't look very monolithic, and that's because this class doesn't really have a lot of things. But this is the base of what you would call a monolithic class or kind of a big class where you would put everything inside of a weapon. The basic idea is that you have a interface, which is, you know, it has your basic functions, which the character would call. So like shooting, reloading, whatever. And those, again, get called from the character and the weapon in uh, blueprint just implements every single thing that anything could ever call basically so regardless of which weapon you end up making from this class right as a child blueprint you would have all the functionality that that parent blueprint has which is a really bloated blueprint for every single weapon that's how you kind of package every single weapon However, obviously it's a lot easier to kind of make because you just end up kind of slapping everything in one blueprint. So it's, you know, add, right click, add, just add node. And you just keep adding and adding and adding and adding and adding and it just piles up and up and up and up. And that's a monolithic class, right? What's the good part about this? Well, this is actually good in really simple setups. So for example, if all your weapon did was this, this is great. This is fine. There's nothing wrong with having a class like this. Why wouldn't you have a weapon class that has a shooting event and a reload event? There's no need to separate this in any way. In fact, the setup I'm going to show you composition wise is overcomplicated if all you're doing is this in the demo. But if you're going to do more, then this would become very complicated. So let's move on to that setup. So here's the composition part. As you can see, immediately we have a completely different setup. We have a base weapon class, which is called weapon composition. And then we have four actor components. These actor components handle all the functionality that we were looking at in two events is split in four classes. That may seem very exaggerated, but trust me, this is actually a lot better long-term it may not seem like it for two simple events, but if we implemented multiple weapons and those multiple weapons had more functionality, this would be a really good setup. And I'll show you exactly why. If we click on the weapon, you can see that inside the weapon, we have the two same kind of main events. It's shoot and reload. We can assume that these get called the same way from the character. And inside those events, instead of calling the functionality, we are now calling trigger controller inside of these components. So these are the components that you were looking at before. You can see BPAC weapon animation controller, weapon fire controller. And um, you can see that, for example, shoot triggers a weapon animation controller 
it sets a montage to play shoot and then it triggers it and then it triggers the fire controller right so if we look at the animation controller for example right here you can see that all it does is it plays a montage on a skeletal mesh that's the entire thing that the component does and if we look at the sh the fire controller right which is on the weapon right here you can see that all it does is it spawns a casing whatever this uh, actor is that's the entire thing that does and so what we're doing basically is we're composing and that's why this approach is called composition we are composing this actor this weapon actor out of multiple smaller components so ideally what you would do is you wouldn't even necessarily have to have these components on this base weapon you could have them inside of the child um, actor and so you could make these events something that you override inside of here but for instance right here you could override these events you would add them right here and then you can add as many components right here as you need so you can create components add components that are as specific as you need for that weapon and they can interact as much as they want between the components and check if you have component or not or whatever you want and it's not going to get cluttered with the base functionality from the weapon ever there's not going to be a kind of functionality that you don't need because you just compose it with the components that you want that's the approach with composition that's the magic of composition and so i hope i kind of explained it correctly i'm trying to explain it pretty quickly because the idea here is to explain it in a way that's fast and gives you a very rapid overview so you can also just look at the project because you also have the project again in the description you know it's free and uh you can just give it a download honestly i mean all, all this setup if you're interested just give it a download check it out and if you want to you know use it it's pretty easy copy paste and so that's mostly the differences between a really simple weapon that's a base setup and a more kind of composed setup that you could do and that's it yeah i guess i'll uh, see you in the next one